Hi, this is Ivarian X from the Candid Frame, and I wanted to give you a short tip on how to improve your images using a simple levels adjustment. Now, a levels adjustment allows you to control primarily contrast. And for me, it's always a good thing to do, particularly when I'm shooting something on a cloudy day or an open shade. For example, here I have this image that I shot in Italy. Shot this door and this window on an overcast day. The exposure is good. If you take a look over here at the histogram, you can see that the entire tonal range was captured by the digital camera. The area on the far left represents what should be your shadows or your blacks. The far right represents your whites or your or your highlights. And the camera, though it captured the full tonal range, the quality of the light really did not have a lot of contrast. So the resulting image is flat. The colors aren't particularly poppy. Um, there's not just a lot of punch to the image. So one of the things that I need to do is I need to improve the contrast. And one of the ways that I do that is by a simple levels adjustment. So what I'll do is I'll go here to my basics adjustment and I'll first go to my blacks which are represented here and by holding down the option key I'll move the slider over to the left until I see the areas in shadow that would be rendered as, as completely black. Don't want to go this far but it allows me to know where I need to pay attention to when making this adjustment. So I'm going to start pulling back and about right there is, is right. I don't mind the fact that I'm losing detail in that area because it's not a particularly important part of the, the photograph. Now I want to go to my highlights. So what I'll do again is hold my option key and move the slider to the far right. And again, I get to see in the preview screen exactly where those highlights are going to be. And then I'll just start pulling back until it's just affected. And by referencing my histogram again, I can see that this adjustment has been made. And by looking at the image here, you can see how much of a difference it's made. I'll pull up the before and after screen so you can really see the result. So here in this first image, it's really flat. And that simple adjustment by establishing my blacks and my whites improves the contrast significantly. Now from here, I can make further adjustments in terms of contrast I can use the contrast slider to increase the contrast even more, which I often like to like to do, especially in this kind of lighting. And if I wanted to open up the exposure slightly more, I can do that as uh, as well. If I want to tweak the blacks and the uh, the whites a little more, I can certainly do that. Again, I hold down the option key, bring it open a little little more, and then let's see what happens when I go a little further with the uh, with the blacks. Yeah, it starts being really poppy. The contrast is, is significantly higher. So that for me is one of the things that I do with virtually all my images, particularly under this kind of light. And it really results in a marked improvement to the images. So if you ever find yourself shooting this kind of light, it's important to nail the exposure in the camera. But know that when you bring the image into your image editing application, you're likely going to at least have to make a simple editing uh, adjustment in terms of levels. I hope this is helpful to you and you can find out more about uh, everything that I do by visiting thecandidframe.com. Take care and see you soon.